Do you need a logo for your business but you are not very artistic and you can't afford a designer? Don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I'm gonna go through step by step how you can use the free online tool Canva to create a logo for your business, even if you're not very creative. I've got you covered, don't worry. Hi guys, so I'm gonna show you how to make a business logo for free in Canva. Now, quite often, you if you search in here in Canva, it will bring up often your things, your designs, etc. We can go and browse all the designs here and you know you can go through them and you'll probably find what you're looking for. However, it's so much easier to just go to Google and find a search bar and then to type in Canva logo or Canva workbook or Canva whatever and it will take you to the template straight away. So this is where I always start with the templates and the ideas. It gets your all your ideas flowing and it can there's there's lots in here. So you can scroll and scroll and scroll through millions of different pages it feels like. And sometimes it will give you an idea of something, other times you can use and one aspect and then change the rest you're not tied into it but it can give you an idea so I'd spend a few minutes just looking through that's kind of a cool thing it obviously depends who you're designing for I recently did a logo for a member of my membership um, which is to help mompreneurs turn their ideas and blogs maybe or maybe not maybe they sell products into a business that they love and so I'm going to show you sort of where I started with hers and how how I got to where I I ended up so this is what we started with with this client um, she created this and someone had helped her based on her desires etc and I just thought it looked a little little bit dated and so what we did was I took some inspiration she liked the green color and obviously they'd done the work with a tick and that that kind of all worked together and looked good but it didn't really look like it all pulled together um, and so what we did was I started to look into using the tick that she'd had and change the font a little bit and and just put a pink color because it was just to test what was going on but for me it still didn't feel right it still didn't feel cohesive and so what I did was thought what else is in a that sort of shape to to be the bottom of that that V there and we looked into using hearts which you can see here and so all I did was I took the the thing that we had to start with with which I just basically put a box round the initial VA services because it made it feel more complete I got rid of the the butterfly and started changing the font and then I decided that actually a, a the heart looked good I thought I could use the heart as the bottom of the V and it felt started to feel more cohesive and all I did was I went through time and time again all of my scripty handwritten fonts to try and find something you know that's too for me that's way too twee um, that I can't you know I wouldn't be able to read that very well um, and so I just went through time and time again and that's what we ended up with and then I pulled it up to be as big as um, I needed it to be uh, there and you can think sometimes the black might feel harsh and in that case highlight it and just pick a different color pick a gray um, and see whether you think that's um, better or not for me it kind of makes it a bit wishy-washy so I'd probably rather go back to it being black but you can change change what it there and if it's anything that if you click on your image that you've imported basically I went into the elements I typed in hand drawn whoop, heart and I thought what's it going to give me okay so it gave me that so that's what I actually started to use to start with uh, and then I thought I actually need just need one I need one heart and that's when I came up with this one so it's a pay this is a paid for element but it's one dollar okay um, and you can if you wanted to you could scroll through and find I'm sure one that was not a dollar you know that was free and you could use that just as just as easily as the one I've used um, there's lots in there 
but I just wanted something that was quite stylish you know that was that's a good one but quite a lot of the the bit that I need is is not there um and so you can scroll through there's millions of hearts there that you could pick I literally picked this one because it was just it it was what I needed it to be um, and then I just played with the colours. So the next thing I did was I asked the client what colour she liked because she seemed to be going for this green and, and she picked, she gave me the hex code. I went over to coolers, coolers.co. I typed in the hex code that she'd given me and I locked it in place so you can lock it like that. And then what I did with when it had been locked is I just hit the space bar. As I liked colours, I then locked those in as well as you can see I've locked all of those in and I keep on hitting the space bar and it gives me options that go with that I can say well do I like that I can move it around by dragging it so I get the feeling of what they're like um, and I can just keep going I might decide that hey that's a nice palette you wouldn't use all of these colors in one logo but you would use them in different aspects and different parts of your brand so we got to the point where I made this box a bit smaller and recentered the name a little bit and then changed this heart into a few different colors so that she has the choice of which one she wants to go for and so basically if you wanted to have say you wanted another aspect of something you wanted a tick um, you could type in hand drawn tick and see what it brings you up and it brings you up actual ticks but it brings you up different things that you could use in your logo and it's all about for me about the whole thing coming together like it's been professionally done rather than something that looks a little bit clip arty and if it looks like that then it's going to date um, a little bit quicker and so there's lo as I said, there's loads of things in here. If you drag something like that in, as long as you click on it, see there's no color here, then you can't change that color, okay? But if you pick pick another one and you click on it, it's gonna be another one like this, isn't it? That there must be one that lets me change the color. Oh, it was that one and I just clicked off it too quick. Yeah. So as long as you see if you click on it and it has the colours up here, then you can change any of these colours just by clicking them and um and changing them so you can see how that you can change that that might be something that you you like it might not be you know that's absolutely fine but starting with one of these logos by just going back to canva and typing in logo so you have the list by going into here of all of the inspiration that you can use uh loads of them here and you might say, okay, I love that tree. That's something that I want to I want to use, and I'm going to use that, and I'm going to move it somewhere else. So I might start here with the tree. I might then decide, okay, I'm going to just highlight that, move that, because actually I want it here. Or I might not like that font. So I, I actually do like that font, but I'm going to change it. So you see how you can build it up to be whatever you want it to be but you don't have to ever start from scratch with canva there's always somewhere that you can start you might think actually i do want it there um i do want that like that you might think hey i actually can i change that color yeah okay so what i might do is i might make that white and i might make that white and i might get rid of the circle entirely if circles aren't your thing if you click on it to make the four dots come up and then just drag it you might think that hey actually I could work that into if I went if I worked hard enough at that and what I would do then is I would just click on the text and I would take off that T which is kind of like what we did with the V put a space back in there um, just ignore that because obviously it doesn't understand put that back in there and that looks much better than that what than what they had to start with okay so you can see how you can literally just it can give you an inspiration for something so for me this looks way better than what they had to start with which is there uh it looks much more cohesive but again if it doesn't float your boat then you can do something else so i hope that's helped and i'd love to know how you're getting on with creating your company logo 
in Canva. So if you like this video, please let me know by liking it below. Subscribe for more videos and I'd love to hear your comments as to how this video has helped you create a logo for your business. Mm -hmm.